What do you do when you're bored of going to the same places over and over again? I know I am spoilt here in Sussex. I have a lot of beautiful locations to capture with my camera. But I make a video once a fortnight and inevitably I end up revisiting locations. But as you'll see in a moment, even if I do visit the same locations multiple times, the conditions can always surprise you. So how do I keep things interesting? This year I'm deliberately going to make my life more difficult by limiting my options. I say more difficult, maybe simplifying my options will provide me with more clarity. Let's see. I'll tell you a bit more about it on the beach. Look at the pink. Look at the pink on the beach here. I don't know if it's gonna come across on that camera, so I'll film a bit on this camera. But um, the reflections on the sand just across there, they're pink. I cannot believe it. It is actually pink. Look, look at that. That is absolutely stunning. Right, I need to just take some I need to stop filming and just take it take some photographs. Morning. You're right. <laughs> the interesting ripples on the sand over there. Absolutely amazing. I've been here so many times and I've never seen that. That is fantastic. I'm just being lazy today and shooting handheld. <laughs> right, now that was a bit of a rush and it's definitely not over. At the moment you can see that the sun is on half of the cliffs here. Should I start again? Should I? Um, hi, good morning. I'm Ben Harvey. Thank you for watching my video. Uh, this morning I've come to Berlin Gap, and today, different to every other video, I am practicing minimalism. And by that, you might be able to see here, no camera bag. So over there is another photographer, Lloyd Lane. I bump into him at so many locations, it's unbelievable. And if you watch my Landscape Photographer of the Year award video, you'll see that Lloyd was also highly commended for some of his shots of uh, the South Downs National Park. So I'm doing this for a few reasons, to simplify things. I'm also gonna be starting a new series that I'm going to be calling the Prime Challenge. And with that idea, I'm gonna be going out and filming videos and taking photographs using one camera and one lens. I'm doing this to challenge myself and that's why it's called the Prime Challenge. So that's coming soon, but this is kind of a, a rehearsal coming out with one camera and one lens. I'm kind of cheating really because this is a zoom lens, a 20 to 70. Um, but to make things simpler, okay, and something that nobody is talking about, I've never seen somebody with another one of these and I had to do a bit of digging to find this solution. But it's not this camera strap, it's actually the attachment. So if you watch my award ceremony video, you'll see that I took out one camera and one lens and I just had it on a strap. I didn't want to go to award ceremony with a camera bag. And this here, this is the secret to being absolutely nimble. So if you're in the Arca Swiss ecosystem, then you'll probably have one of these quick release plates on here. This is compatible with all of my tripods and you'll see from most of my videos that I use the uh, capture clip from Peak Design and that typically goes on my camera bag strap. But the reason that I use that is so that I can just clip my camera here and my camera is always available. But genuinely, I take my camera bag out sometimes and it's empty. I'm just, I'm just using the camera bag so that I can clip my camera here. And then if it were to rain or if I'm not using my camera for a, a long period of time, I put the camera away. But essentially, 
I've just got a bag on my back for no good reason. So this is the solution. Put the camera behind your back, you swing it round, you can take photographs with the camera still attached, or if you want to detach it, just press these two, and then it's detached. And that can go on my gimbal, that can go on my tripod, that can go on my capture clip, that can go in my bag, or it can go back on this strap here. And that is secure, and that is by far the most streamlined, quickest way of taking photographs without hassle. Look, look how, look how nimble I am here. That is photography simplified. If you're coming to Berlin Gap, number one, make sure you bring some wellies. And uh, number two, if you do come here, winter is better because the sun is actually rising over the sea rather than inland. So um, it's, about, it's about 15, 20 minutes after sunrise and I've already got sun on the complete scene. So it's a bit blue sky today. You can see I've got a smidge of clouds around me. Um, but if you're coming here, winter's way better. So plus you don't have to wake up so early. What a beautiful morning down here on the beach. Didn't come out with any expectations other than planning ahead. I came down here at low tide. Low tide clashed with sunrise. You can see here, once the sun is up and it's quite powerful, you're gonna have a shadow of yourself in your frame. You might be able to Photoshop that out, um, but as soon as it crosses over the waves like this, you're gonna be into problems. So there you go. This is kind of my new approach to photography. I'm trying to simplify things, carry less gear, carry less weight, and just enjoy the photography. My prime challenge will be coming soon. I intend on doing a variety of lenses. Some of them will be easy for the photography, some of them will be easy for the video. So I intend on doing 16 millimeter, 20 millimeter, 24, 35, 50, and 100. And trust me, filming yourself at 100 millimeters, that's gonna be a real challenge for me. But I'm gonna do it anyway, I've committed to it. I've said it now, it's happening. Okay, from the beautiful Berlin Gap, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.